the aim of Maxwell, well, there are several aims, but maybe the main one is to create the most beautiful images ever. We wanted to create a very easy to use tool and making it universally compatible so everybody can use it no matter what platform you, you want to use, uh, no matter if you are an architect or if you work in VFX or if you are an industrial designer. So it's all about quality, about easiness to use and about universality. Uh, no matter if you work in 3D Max, Maya, or in architecture platforms like Archicad or Rhino, there is a plugin for you and, and you just install it and play with Max. Actually, this is the API we use internally for creating our plugins, and we have 15 plugins for all kinds of platforms from Maya to Houdini to even to Photoshop or After Effects, Nuke. So platforms that are not really 3D platforms, but can be connected to Maxwell. We have a second API, which is for creating your own procedural textures, your own procedural geometries. We use it internally for creating our own particle system, or hair, fur, grass. And we have uh, given access to this API to some software manufacturers, so they have connected their technologies to Maxwell, for instance, uh, Safe on Haircut or Multiscatter. This API for creating your own procedurals will be part of Maxwell 3 and will be, everybody will have access to this, to this API in the next month. We are pretty proud of our support system because uh, we have a lot of feedback of people saying that our support is good. We try to reply emails in 24 hours. We, we have a very good forum where users can share their problems and questions of workarounds. Every time we travel to attend an event or to do whatever, we always uh, visit our customers in that city so we can meet them face to face and understand much better what they are looking for, what they are expecting from us, what we can implement in future versions. So, well, it's a combination of many things. Uh, it took a long time until we, we created a, a good support system because it's not easy. Maxwell we have many thousands of customers and they are very different. They are not all, all of them from the same industry but we have architects or we have people with very low level understanding of computers. On the other hand we have uh, like Linux gurus, uh, workers, IT guys in BFX industries and they have a completely different set of needs. And creating a support system that can fit them all was a, a challenge comparable to the technical challenge on the renderer side. We have uh, invested a huge amount of time on making the core of Maxwell as good as possible in terms of quality. So all the physical models, camera models, sky model, materials, uh, everything, the tone mapping, the film, everything uh, has been, uh, we have dedicated and a tremendous amount of effort in making it as accurate as possible. That's not really a feature, but I will start saying so. That that's, that's the quality. Apart from that, uh, Maxwell provides a massive set of features. Uh, um, probably my favorite is multi-light. Multi-light is the, the ability of changing the light intensities and colors in real time once the render has finished, or even when, while the render is is uh, calculating. So. When you, when you have rendered something, you can go to Nuke or Photoshop and import the Maxwell image there and change in lights on an unbiased and physically correct way uh, without needing to re-render it again. That's probably my favorite, my favorite feature. Apart from that, there are many others like uh, our hair system, our particle systems are very good. The connection with real flow, progressive rendering to that feature I talked to is that you can stop and resume a render or a render sequence and start it tomorrow so you can overlap composition and rendering. Um, I would say these are my favorite features. So far we are preparing a new set of features for Maxwell 3 and some of them will be in my favorite list for sure. Yeah. People were, were used to uh, traditional workflows with old school renders where they want to render a lot of passes, they want to uh, spend a lot of time tweaking the scene. And, uh, for us it was a challenge to spread out the idea that Maxwell work in a completely different way. You just think on Maxwell as, um, as a real camera, so you focus on 
on lighting, you focus on materials, on the camera, where to place a camera, how can we adjust this material. So you, you work somehow like a traditional photographer or cinematographer, thinking on lighting, not thinking on all the time, and programming the, the, the algorithm, the, the light transport tricks. I think that we have preserved the philosophy of Maxwell very well. We have never sacrificed quality in order to get more speed, even when people were demanding us uh, uh, tweaking this or this, they said, okay, just, uh, I like the philosophy of Maxwell, but please add this photo mapping or add this uh, bouncing control, whatever. No, we always said no. We always focused on, on, on improving the speed without introducing any trick. Uh, in the long term, it has shown that it was the right strategy because uh, hardware has evolved a lot and since Maxwell is very multi-threading friendly uh, it, uh, it has got the most of, uh, of the new hardware that, uh, that hardware manufacturers have, the, have released in the last year so Maxwell now is many times faster than before just because the hardware is faster because it was extremely multi-thread friendly uh, so that's probably one of the strengths of Maxwell, that the core is untouched. Uh, so, so we don't have to, to, to balance between um, correctness and tricks. There's no the tricks side. Yeah.